Hey yeah, uh, folks, so I've got something tonight that uh, quite a few of you, well, at least two of you, uh, keep bugging me about and I keep blowing you off because I just don't feel like doing it, but, well, here we are. I've got my PS Vita, I finally have it, um, I got custom firmware on it, and I even opened it up and popped out the old 3G module and threw in a micro SD adapter. The problem now is that it's not being recognized over USB, so I can't actually do anything with the uh, the cable with the, the the storage module I just put in. I mean, obviously USB is working. The PS Vita recognizes USB. My computer does not. Normally, the solution to that is to just try another cable, and I have another one of these somewhere, but being the proprietary little shits that they are, um, I literally only have another one somewhere, and if I order another one, who knows whether it's gonna work. Um, I could spend a lot for, you know, a, a name brand cable or something, um, or I can just order one on like AliExpress or something, and then I'll get it in two months, and then I can finally start using this thing. I know I could just use FTP, but I mean, I want to just be able to plug it in. It's so much quicker. Anyway, in lieu of ordering a new cable, I think I'm just going to put USB-C in this thing. So my original plan for this mod was either to just replace this port entirely or even replace this useless port entirely since it's not used for anything in the PS Vita, uh, but I've got, since I took the 3G module out, a big old hole in the side of this thing that I might as well put my new USB connector in. Uh, so I've already got most of the screws out because I haven't even finished putting it back together for the uh, other mod. Let me get this apart here. There's four screws for the uh, for the back here. One, two, three, four, and then another two along the bottom, and then two in the uh, useless port area. Uh, but I had already removed six of those, or rather, just never reinstalled the six six of them. But anyway, this should pop loose. Don't forget to remove memory card, or you won't be able to get the back off, and then this will pop right out, usually. There's some clips, and then you can hinge it open, and right here there's two ribbon cables that need to be lifted. There's the touchpad and then the battery, and then set this whole thing aside. So here's what we're looking at. Uh, this is the mod I was just talking about. I replaced the 3G module, removed all the antennas, and now I just have a micro SD slot. So the plan today is uh, to install this port here. The problem, and I didn't realize this until right this second, I probably wouldn't be doing this right now had I realized this earlier, but it looks like I have to remove the entire motherboard because I need to get to the other side of this port. <sighs> okay. No big deal, just not what I wanted to spend my night doing. Let me zoom out a little. Tighten that beyond finger tight. Okay. I don't like putting these little T2 screws tighter than finger tight because the bits tend to destroy themselves if you try that.
At least Sony was nice enough to color code all these screws. All the blue ones go into a bracket or something and all the pink ones go straight into the motherboard. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Nope, there's one more under here. I always forget about that one. Except for this black one. This black one's not quite color coded. This isn't going to come out this way because there's a camera connector and an LCD connector on the flip. Yep. come up because this stupid camera connector flip this up and disconnect that and we've got it free set that aside okay so now we need to focus our attention down here wire I want to use for this or how I even want to route it. I haven't really considered any facet of this mod. No, that's not for you to play with, thank you. Why? Why, why, why are you doing this? Thank you. Alright. Strip some wire. I'm going to plan my wire routing to make sure I get enough wire. So this goes approximately like that. My port is going to go approximately over here. So that should be plenty of wire with some extra. I think I'm almost out of wire. Oh, I just found the other end of the wire. It's interesting. Okay. That's for you. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I wanted to make just like a, a PCB or something. So we could just desolder this with hot air, solder in a new adapter, and then a USB C port to that adapter. But it's apparently entirely too much effort. Oh, I don't like how close these all are. So I'll uh I'll throw a link in the description here as far as the specific wiring that I'm doing. I need to flip that up on out of the way. is looking nice and crusty. There we go, that's better. I'm going to tin these three spots here. This is absolutely something a microphone would be good for, and I absolutely, or a microscope, I absolutely need to get closer, which means I need to back the camera off. I should probably do that one first. Yeah, why not? All right, so both feel nice and solid. And then as far as ground goes, you can basically take your pick. Um, I guess just to keep it, keep the wiring simple, solder onto the corner of this thing here. Come on.
We need way more heat for that. All right, let's try this one instead. Oh, that'll work a lot better. Those clearly weren't attached very solidly. Oh well, at least I'm finding out now. Hmm. Hope it didn't break that. This should just be a filter. This one should be connected to that, yep. And this should be connected to that. Okay, so we didn't break anything. I wonder if it might be easier to solder to that connector itself. Probably not. Hmm. Of course, we could just uh, bypass the filter, solder past it. So my issue is soldering right here is very difficult. Um, soldering right here might be even more difficult. I can try it. Whereas I could try soldering straight to these capacitors those are so close together I'm probably not gonna have probably not gonna have a good time there either I guess let's go ahead and try the pins I'm concerned this is deja vu for uh, that iPod video I did. So I'm pretty sure this is an even finer pitch. Yeah, I can't even get my iron in there. done is uh, bridge the pins. 
Nice. It's likely because this motherboard is made using lead-free solder and I'm using leaded solder. And the alloys don't exactly mix nicely. Thing is, I need like two right hands or two left hands. Regardless, what we need to do is not put any shorts on that connector and then leave it there. shorts now. That is such a ridiculous fine pitch though. Respect to all the people who have already done these mods. Because this is a crazy fine pitch. Yeah, I'm just not seeing that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. Clean this up a little so I can see a little bit better. Probably gonna give it a shot without the camera in my face and uh I'll be back. Yeah, that's precisely what happened. I turned the camera off and moved it out of my way and then it was significantly easier and I had no issues. Um so I've got this soldered down. I even took a little bit of hot glue and I just kind of smushed it over the joints to make sure that the wires don't move and I don't fatigue those joints uh, just because it's ridiculously hard to get in there. Um, I did already check it, but I'll check it again just for the sake. How did this get tangled? What the fuck? How are my probes tangled? Okay, there we go. 
So continuity just beeps. So I'm going to take this left wire here, hold it to the negative probe, and then the positive probe should beep on the bot on the top contact of the bottom capacitor and not the top, the bottom contact of the top capacitor. Nice. And then let's check the other one. And then the opposite should be true with the other one. Doesn't beep on the bottom one, but it does on the top one. Nice. So, everything should still be working. So I'm just going to go ahead and solder this onto my USB port board now. Uh, hopefully it doesn't need to go anywhere. Uh, and this is one of the older versions of the uh, USB Type-C breakout boards that I posted on my GitHub, and I'll throw a link in the description for these. Um, but assembly of these is ridiculously easy. Order the PCB, install the port, and optional install two 5.1k resistors on the provided pads so that USB-C host mode works. All right, let's get these tinned. I'm gonna solder to the top actually. And I might have to shorten these, but it'll be easier to shorten them when I know where they all go. Okay, so the top one is data positive, which is this one. I'm oh, sorry, I just realized I'm working off screen here. I'm just soldering the wires. Treating my through hole pads as surface mount pads. All right, and with any luck, we're done with the soldering iron. And we're done with the mod, and we can just reassemble it. It's labeled on the bottom, but I did all my soldering on the top, so I can just like stick this down or something. All right, unplug that, and time to put this back together. I'd like to be able to test this, but I don't know if you can. Oh, that's convenient. I didn't actually think there would be space, but there totally is. I can route all three wires with my tweezers.
Actually, if I wanted to, I could have run all the wires through this hole in the PCB. That would have worked too. I'm just trying to think about the order of operations here. I think that will work though. Nope. It's very tedious. I'm trying to route them around this screw post. I'm not having a good time. Bend that one up. That way I can... Oh, let me try this one at a time. There we go. Actually, we probably want to route this this way. There should be space under that. Oh no, I lifted the board and the wires moved. Arr. If I ever have to take this thing apart, this is going to be a pain in the ass. All right, before I get too much further, I need to find whatever happened to my left shoulder button. Oh, for fuck's sake. Or I guess that's my right shoulder button. <sighs> okay, I guess I just don't have a right shoulder button anymore. So I intend on putting that right about there. There should be tons of room on account of the uh, SIM card module that I removed. I'm gonna try and route these through this open space though just in case I need that space or something else.
Christmas Day. Damn it. I suppose this is probably put together enough to test. I'm feeling confident though. Fuck it. Nothing nothing's gonna go wrong. Aside from my missing right shoulder button. I just found something that went wrong. I might be able to work around it though. I'm going to install this first though. Where'd the screw for that go? Yep, we can work around that. Nice. I'll print, I'll 3D print a uh, bracket or something for this eventually. But I suppose right now I need to uh, find the rest of the parts for this thing. I seriously haven't gone anywhere. I don't understand how I lost the screw for the camera and the whole shoulder button. Like, there's supposed to be a little pad here, like on this side. <sighs> I'll be back. Alright, so I couldn't find the screw that I lost, but I found another screw that fit. Uh, don't tell Nintendo. Um, gonna really annoy the crap out of myself next time I have to go take this apart. Realize that there's the wrong screw in there, but it fits, so it's fine. Found the shoulder button, too. Uh, while I was putting that in, I had to pull this out and put it above the PCB, otherwise it wasn't going to uh, sit right. Uh, oh. Probably want to make sure we plug in the power button too, huh? Buttons. 
And I think that's pretty much it. Now we just need some tape for this thing. I'm going to use the good stuff. The sticky stuff. That looks about right. Like I said, I'll get a bracket or something 3D printed for this eventually. This is part of the prototyping process though, I swear. But to be completely honest with this tape in here, I don't think I'll need one. there's good enough. I haven't really pressed it down. Try that in just a second. Cause I gotta get the uh, rear housing on first. Might be too late anyway. It's probably stuck down. I think I didn't stick it down. It needs to go further in. Placement is pretty much spot on though. Oh, fucking shoulder button again. Pressing it down now with some tweezers. I think that is pretty good. Yes, my little monster. Okay. Off on important business. And he's back. You won't know I'm here if I don't move. Here, their vision is based on uh, movement. <laughs> uh, that's not the right screw. <laughs> um, okay. I guess I'm missing one of those too. Nice. Let's try it out, I guess. Promising. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just going to set the time in a few minutes anyway. Oh, I forgot to put this in. I don't have the memory card set up yet, the internal one. So if I want to use any of the uh, applications on here, I still need that external one. Yeah, see. Told you I was going to set the time. All right, so let's go into the shell. I appreciate that installing the um, the driver for the USB storage disables the modem, so I don't get that annoying error every single time. Um, I did already install that, but I don't see my memory card listed in here. It should there should be a 64 gigabyte partition so showing up so I I'm gonna have to investigate that more that's probably what I get for ordering a um, knockoff adapter uh, let's try this out shall we where'd my USB cable go so I'm gonna plug in the Vita USB And so this recognizes that it's connected, but the sound on my computer is all the way up. Well, not all the way up because it's practically 2 a.m., um, but it is up enough that you would have heard the doo-doo, and I don't see a uh, storage device listed. So let's try this one. Oh, I have discovered an issue. Shit. <laughs> um, well, maybe I can... Unstick that and move it. Probably not. Well, just lifting it up, up was probably enough. There we go. And do you hear that noise? It says USB connected, and I have a USB drive showing up, 16 gigabytes. So there we go. It's, I mean, not in the greatest spot if you want it to play in charge. Actually, you know what? I don't even hate it where it is. It does make using the shoulder button a little awkward, but that's okay. And a cool thing here, we can plug this in. No, we can't because that is even bigger and doesn't even come close to fitting. Never mind. It would have been cool to see what kind of power it was pulling over USB, but that's not happening. Okay. Well, I guess I need to work on the positioning of this a little bit. Uh, I think where it is, is it's fine. It just needs to come out a little bit more, or I need to shave this down a little bit, which, quite frankly, I'm not opposed to. This thing is obviously not in the greatest shape. But, I don't know. I guess I'll play with it and see why my uh, memory card isn't working. Let's see what it says. USB storage device is not detected. That's promising. So I guess I'm just gonna order another adapter. I was kind of worried about that, but such is life. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Now all you people who have been bugging me to install USB-C can stop bugging me about it. Um, I don't need to make a video about every USB-C mod. It's usually just as simple as get one of these breakout boards, connect green to green, red to red, white to white, black to black, and then find somewhere it fits, and Bob Gianti. So there we go.
Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.